In today's video, we're going to create this text glow effect in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Akia Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. Press T and type out your text. Add a stroke, change its color and remove its fill. Rename the text and duplicate it, then rename the duplicate. Add a fill to the duplicate, then change its color. Then change the color of the stroke to match the color of the fill. Press R and create a rectangle. Then change the color of the rectangle to that of the background. Then swap the rectangle in between the two texts. Select the text and add a drop shadow to it. Change the color of the shadow and increase its blur value. Select the rectangle and adjust its height and width. And rename it. Duplicate the rectangle and rename it to mask. Use the max to max the text and rectangle. Create another rectangle and change its color to the color of the text. Select all the elements, group them and rename them. Create a duplicate of the group. Rename both groups again. Select the rectangular bar on the first group and move it to the left. Then select the mask and move it to the left as well. Now, select both groups and create a component set. Switch to prototype and connect the first variant to the second variant using the while hovering command. And the smart animate settings are shown. Voila! There you have it, our text glow effect while hovering. Now, let's switch things up. Grab an instance of the component and detach it from its main component. Select the mask and slide it to the right. Select the glowing text and remove its drop shadow. Duplicate the text and add a layer blur to it. Reduce the opacity of the blur. Duplicate the entire group. Select the bar of the duplicate and move it to the right. Send the mask of the top group to the left. Adjust the mask of both groups. Select both groups and create a component set. Switch to prototype and connect using the while hovering command. Now select the component to use. Under the selection colors pane, you can change the colors of your components. Voila, our updated components.